But one of the things that you notice about rumba is that the last step, the third step, is the slow step. That's what people think. And in some countries they teach it quick, quick, slow. Big mistake. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. It's got two beats. You've got one beat, one beat, two beats. Well, we got news for you. The slow step is the one where you should accelerate your energy the most. So I don't like when people do a very slow rumba and go to sleep. So for example, as a lady, <laughs> as a lady, it's an acceleration time now. Boom. 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 Forget it. <laughs> Boom. 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 Chick. Chick. Boom. Boom. So if I made the noise like a motor car, <laughs> you really need this, don't you? Right. He's, he's hating me for this. If I made the mo noise like a motor car, it would be. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Ron Montez, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, it's very, very true. In actual fact, the third step, the two-beat step, is a point of energy increase. So therefore what you're left with, if we use the much improved original, <laughs> what you're left with is chung 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 vroom chung chung foo boom 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 ba kiriom chung boom vroom boom ba Because you don't want to be predictable. Right. Let's have some music, please. So there's a real important secret. When you think you're slowing down is when you should be speeding up. Most people take the energy out at the end of the bar. So they do two, three, and the slow step, two, three, and the slow step, and the slow step, slow step. instead of the fact that in a fan position don't need the hand to lead, must lead, must partner. Could be the upper body muscularity that it leads. Doesn't have to be. Upper body muscularity, breathe. Check. Let her breathe, let her dance. Look at the legs. Zunk. There. 
either a normal fan position, breathing the upper body to allow the woman to close her fan position. The lead of fan position is allow, not I'll give her foot speed. That's foot speed, but my fingers hurt. Mm -hmm. You allow the, the perfect lead for fan position. We can encourage with our upper body. Un poco más y a lo mejor nos comprendemos luego. Stand with your partner. They have a hard enough job as it is to do what they have to do. So when you're standing in fan position, guys, four, one, and two, they have no chance, no chance whatsoever, okay? You keep that hand still. You pull your left foot in. That's at the same time as the girls will pull their foot in. As they change weight, you make the same change. You make the same change. Not the same step, but the same change. Two. When you learn to do this, you move up from driving Lada to driving a Mercedes. Because that's the type of gear change you've got to give. Smooth. Not from the original. The best one's the Volga. Second gear. Third gear. Out the window. Try fan position. Fan position. You don't know what I'm talking about, Volga, do you? Oh, maybe some of you do. Never mind. Moving on. Fan position. And pull the leg in. Stop there. Guys, what do you feel in your left hand? Oh. Girls, try. Pull in. Pull in with the right means push down with the left. As you pull in, turn on that left foot. As you close the feet, you can feel that the right leg is more straight, the left knee is more bent. You lower that heel, push back, and let the other knee come out. And that's all done on one count. Two. If you want to practice that, girls, do this. Do this. That's, exa that's, exa that's exactly what you're doing on that close. Exactly what you're doing. Instead of walking back, you're changing weight. Two. Two. And is it easy? No, it's not easy. But this is when you first learn this, the idea is to close the feet in the fan position, walk forward, etc. I'm trying to lift the level of your understanding of what foot pressure means, how you use that foot pressure. And today, I'm starting to put across to you that that pressure in the foot relies on what you do in the knees, how you move the hips, how those ribs are moving, and ultimately, where those arms are going. Yeah, stay, guys, stay on the left foot, ready to go forward on the right foot. Girls yeah. already here, start with the uh, closed hip. Yes, some of you are already here. <laughs> Great. There you go, nice. Yeah? Now, for your own self, guys, feel where is your weight on that left foot. Is it, is it in the back, is it in the front, is it in the center? And now feel, if your hip is, is lifted on your right side, just feel that pendulum and connect it to your left foot without any movement. And you girls, two sides. That's it. Together with the guys, just feel, sense it. He's the one that is giving you the tempo. Good. And now from there, feel how that now goes into a rotation, and you stop at the neutral point for now, where your feet is underneath yourself. Nice. Good. Now continue from here and place the foot. Okay, right under. Now transfer the weight onto that foot and arrive with the pendulum. Two nice. side girls. And this Two is for the girls. He almost give the hip. 
to the guys, they left him. This feeling, warm, to what? Sorry? Any weight, there is a resistance towards the floor, but you would drive all your weight onto the front. Most of the way. Yeah. But wait, before, just before the rotation, it's the full weight four. has to be on. Yeah, so <laughs> once I get some here, four and one and. I have to have the rotation. There's just energy in the foot, but there's no weight. Yeah? Yes. That's quite a good, that's quite an important question because in order for me to have a clear center of the rotation, my found, what I call the foundation has to be fully transferred. No matter what rotation I have, I need full weight onto that foot. Yeah? If, for instance, I'm here and I need to turn, my spine is not clear. And that's what I often see if someone wants to spin, they do this, and now, whoop, they lose balance. Yeah? Instead of actually being very clear that I'm here, and from there, I can spin. And you don't have to get here, and now no. to, you don't need the break, but you definitely need to pass through here before the next turn comes. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> Any kind of rotation. So what is the, in this case, even here, that's why I say it's important that my pendulum has been transferred so my spine is clearly so I can return, so I can rotate around that leg and that spine and not from here and now I start rotating and I'm already broken in my body and I have no clue what's going on I yeah? can't feel it in so to actually get that ah, now I have a vertical line and then I can start rotating and transfer yeah? yes ok let's do that one more time so left foot now Pendulum, so the guys is clearly onto the left foot. Nice. And now just rotate around the spine, pull in the leg, continue the circle, and take a step. Good. Now transfer the weight together. So we don't want any of the effect of the guy getting closer right now. We move as one block onto that foot. Nice. Good now, now again, rotate, and the guys place the foot in front of them to check. Finish the weight of the girl. And now, guys, just transfer the feel that you almost lower the heel just underneath your shoulder. Just lower the heel and now transfer the weight onto that foot. That's Remember, right. one more time, guys, go back to this part. He said lower the heel. Actually, for the girls, it's exactly the same. We lower the heel of our left foot first, so our weight is still towards the right foot. But now we go heel, middle, ball of the front. That's called a replace. So you actually create boom, a pendulum feeling through your left leg versus a metronome, which we sometimes actually make a mistake of. Sometimes we go ball flat versus from heel. Heel is a flat. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Right, so you are here one more time to hear what I Whenever you do a replace, step back. Your heel of the front leg kisses the floor first, and then you drive through that newly established foot on the floor. Versus from here, ball flat. Do you see the difference? Then I'm tra traveling this way, versus I'm traveling this way. Hello. Very, very big difference in balance. You have that in your sliding door, for Two and you go three. Yeah, you can make it work, but it's not exactly the feeling of a pen the lung is driving through. You recognize the step, right? So it's the replace, get the heel down, pen the lung. Easy, right? Good <laughs> question. When you put that heel down to the chair, how do you like, coordinate the pension? I mean, you back to. So from, from here, my hip is actually flat. Yeah. Yeah. Now from here, what I do is that I just it it does. There's no more hip action on the right yeah. side. Yes. So from here, it actually just stays, and I just continue the hip underneath my right shoulder. So if you do this, do this action. Seriously, it puts them on your hips. No, That's it. Yes, very good. So when you're in the check position. Your right arm happens to be higher than the left, yeah. right? Then you would neutralize it here because you do get to that position. Now, obviously, when you replace the foot, boom, that right one would start elevating again, but you're not opening it. And now, when you travel all the way here, then it starts to become in this direction. You feel the difference? So, when you when you actually keep the hip closed, you're able to get that scale going in a very clear way. If you had opened the scale here, the hip here, that would have happened. You, you see what I mean? I actually try, I feel this is quite a helpful exercise. Literally rest your arms on your hips and uh, try to sense where do they actually go. So here at this very moment, I am neutral. If I go all the way up to that foot, it's inevitable that 
does this have? So that is the only question it is going there anyway. So this is what he asked. Where does it go? Back. Because I transfer fully, this is where it's going to be higher. Make sense? 